Hello learners, welcome to our virtual learning class. Today we'll be treating mathematics and the topic is volume and capacity. Volume and capacity. Now, when we talk of volume and capacity, we are talking about amount of liquid a container can hold. Okay? Amount of liquid a container can hold. Let's look at this as example. Okay. Let's look at this bottle. When we fill this bottle full, the amount of water we fill with this bottle is the heat capacity, okay? It's the capacity of this bottle. When we look at this bottle, it's labeled 500 ml. 500 ml. Which means the amount of liquid it can hold is all 500 ml. Or its capacity is all 500 ml, okay? Now, even at home, when you fill your back your bucket with water, when your back, the what the bucket is full, that is the, the amount of water in it is its capacity. Okay, the amount of water in it the bucket is its own capacity. Now, capacity or volume is measured in what? Either liters or milliliters. And liters we have what L. Liters is represented by what L and milliliters by ml related by ml now let's continue to look at the relationship between liters and milliliters the relationship between liters and milliliters okay now over here we have that thousand milliliters will give us what one liter thousand milliliters will give us one liter or thousand ml will give us one l thousand ml will give us one l which means that 1,000 milliliters, when a container is labeled 1,000 ml, it, when it's full, will give us one liter, okay? Will give us one liter. Now let's continue to try, try to change from milliliters to liters. Let's try to change from milliliters to liters. We already know that 1,000 ml will give us one liter, okay? So when we are changing from ml to liter, we divide by what? 1,000, because 1,000 ml will give us what? one liter. 1,000 milliliters will give us one liter. So over here we have 500 ml, which will give us 500 ml. We are divided by 1,000. We are divided by 1,000 ml. This will be equal to, okay? Now, we cancel this, this cancel this, okay? Then, this zero will cancel this zero. This zero to also cancel this zero. Now, it's left with 5 over 10. And when we are doing decimal fraction, we know that when 5 over 10 will give us of 0 0.5. Then we add our letters to it, our L to it, okay? We know that 5 over 10 will Give us 0 0.5. Okay. Now, so 500 ml will give us 0 0.5 L, which is half of a liter. Which is half of a liter because we say thousand of thousand ml will give us one liter. So when it's 500, it means it's half of what the liter. Okay. Right. Now let's continue with our next example, which is thousand ml. We have thousand ml okay divided by we know we always divide by whole by thousand so we also have thousand ml okay we are canceling the ml will cancel ml the zero here will cancel the zero here the zero here to also cancel this one this zero to also cancel this okay now it will left with all one over one and uh, we know that when one thing or a whole is divided by itself, it gives us what? A one whole, okay? So we have what? One divided by one will give us what? One L, okay? To give us one whole. So to give us one liter. To give us one liter. Now let's continue with the next example. We have two series. Zero zero m l over 
thousand m error. Okay. Now let's cancel. Now this zero here will, will cancel this zero. This zero here to also cancel this zero. Okay. Now right. this will be equal to, to give us twenty six over ten. This one is decimal. Okay. Is decimal or in other words, how many times 10 will go into 26? It will go there how many times? 2, 2, the middle of 6, 2.6. So we have uh, 2.6 liters. We have 2.6 liters. Now let's continue with the next example. The next example is. 400, 4,500 ml. We only divide by all thousand. So we have thousand ml. We cancel this one. This one to cancel this. Okay. Then, then this zero cancel this zero. This one to cancel this. It will give us forty. Sorry. Forty-five divided by all ten. This I know that I won't cancel. So 45 divided by 10 will give us all 4. Remember that 5. So point out 5. Okay. And we have we have 4.5 liters. So 4,500 ml will give us 4.5 liters. Okay. That is the relationship. So if a, a, a container is labeled in 4 um, million liters and is its capacity is 1,500 ml. It will give us what? Four and a half or 4.5 liters. It will give us 4.5 liters. Okay? Now, so we are saying that capacity is the amount of liquid a container can, do or can hold. The amount of liquid a container can hold. And we are trying to change from milliliters to liters. So, in milliliters to liters, we always divide by one, by thousand. Make sure that you always divide by thousand, you cancel your zeros, and you get your whole, your answer, okay? Right. I hope with this, I'll bring our lesson to an end, and to our next meeting, have a nice day. Bye-bye.